It's been a while since I've done one of these turbos, so I wanted to get it on video to show you what it is, because I don't really see this one very often. This is a GT2835. The GT2835 has an odd size turbine wheel and kind of a not so common compressor wheel. Usually when I see these turbos, it's an HKS turbo and it has a 51 millimeter compressor wheel and the turbine wheel is either 51 millimeter or 53.58 millimeter. So here's a look at this one. Now this one is a GTX version, so it's not exactly like the last one I've done an upgrade on. I think this one probably, I didn't measure it, but it might be a GTX 3071R compressor. I don't know. Anyway, for the turbine wheel, this is what I wanted to show you, because these turbines all look the same, but there's actually three versions of them. It's kind of hard to measure this. So it's like 53.6 around there. So what I did for this build is I took these HKS turbine housings. So it's a twin turbo car. And then I machined those out for this turbine wheel. So originally I think this one was machined for the 51 millimeter turbine that looks identical to this. And then there's also a 55 millimeter turbine. I always, or pretty much always, upgrade to that 55 millimeter turbine. But since this is a twin turbo car, I mean, it's not really going to, you know, I, you'll still make great power on this 53.6 millimeter turbine. But anyway, this is just what they sent me to work on. They just wanted me to do the machine work. So I surfaced it here, and the, so I could grab it here, and then machine it on the other side. Also, this turbine is used in other different turbo variations, but this is one that I've seen more commonly. The other one would be the Blausch, some of the Blausch turbos. I think this is a Dominator 2 or Dominator 3, and this turbine fits directly in this turbine housing from Blausch. That one had a GT3071R compressor wheel, and then it had this 53 point 53.6 millimeter turbine in it. Blaus also has a version with the 51 millimeter turbine too. So if you need this replacement turbine or the 51 millimeter turbine, that's something I don't ever plan to have. Just because anytime I get something like this in for rebuild anyway, most of the time they want to upgrade it anyway. So I just go ahead and upgrade it to a different shaft or the biggest one, which is the 55 by 60. So with this HKS kit, these two housings are T2 flange, and then the outlet, uh, I measured this, this is two and a half inch, so I guess these are two and a half inch four bolt. Now there is, or are different patterns for these, like it will look nearly identical, but there is a two and a half inch version of the four bolt and a three inch version of the four bolt. And there may even be a bigger one than that, but I'm not really 100% sure on that. But I wanted to show you this because I don't get to see these very often. I had a couple soldiers, uh, U.S. soldiers that were stationed in Japan that bought a couple Skylines. And they had me do some upgrades on, on their Skylines that they got from Japan, which was pretty awesome because it had the HKS kit on it. And this just brings me back to that time, just thinking about when I did that. Now, when I did that, that was probably like four or five years ago. And so, I mean, that's been a while, but 
Yeah, that was, that was a lot of fun when I got to do that one. So this one kind of just brings me back to thinking about when I did that build. On that build for those soldiers, I did the 55 millimeter by 60 turbines on both of them. Then I, then I did a GTX 3071R compressor, or GTX 3076R compressor wheel. So when I did that upgrade, that made the two turbos combined good for about 1100 horsepower on the Skyline. I, now that I think about it, I remember one of the other soldiers just had me do just a rebuild, which I think I used some of the parts from the other turbo because it was so rare that it was unlikely that I had those parts before before doing the HKS build. So I was able to use like the other guy's compressor wheel and turbine to fix the other guy's turbo. If you are rebuilding one of these turbos, I have several good videos that talk about how to rebuild it and step-by-step -step instructions on how to rebuild it. So I highly recommend that you go and watch those. And if you do want to buy a rebuild kit, they're usually in the description box of those videos as well. And well, that's everything for this video. So if you have any questions, just comment them below.